up guys it's sunny from sofa vibes co today i'm coming to you with crystals don'ts that doesn't even make sense but anyways things to not do with your crystals um and then i'll give you three bonus things that you should always do with your crystals the first thing that you should never do with your crystals is sleep with them i know people always say okay you should sleep with amethyst sleep with lapidolite, sleep with lapidolite, lapis, all of these good things, which you can. However, if you are sensitive to energy, it is not suggested that you do that. Also, you want to remember that um, if you're doing dream work or if you need help with going to sleep, then you can use the crystals for sleep. But just to sleep with them just because, I would not suggest it. Why? Because crystals is energy. Crystals and their energy that they give off will cause your body to continue to um, be in a working state. So when you wake up, you won't feel rested. So think about it. You may have slept with your crystal bracelet on, uh, slept with crystals under your pillow, something like that, and you woke up and like, dang, I'm still tired. That's because the energy from the crystals continue to allow your body to work. It still flows rather than you sleeping and resting. The energy from the crystals is having your body still work on the level and the energy of the crystals. I hope that makes sense. But um, you don't want to sleep with them because you don't want your body and your energetic field to still be working and trying to align with the crystal's energy when you should be resting. If you are doing, um, if you need to like recall dreams or you need help falling asleep, of course you could put the crystals maybe under your pillow or above your headboard or something. But if you're finding yourself not getting restful sleep, remove the crystals from your bed. Take off the crystal jewelry and put it aside for a minute. And the second thing you should never do with crystals is put certain crystals in water. So certain crystals should never go in water. Blue kyanite, selenite, um, black kyanite to name a few. This is a blue kyanite. This, it looks pretty sturdy, but if you put it in water, it will dissolve. Same thing with selenite, it will dissolve. Not all crystals will dissolve, like amethyst or rose quartz wouldn't dissolve, but certain crystals like this one, blue kyanite, selenite, and some other ones to name, um, will dissolve in water. The third thing you don't want to do is put water, put crystals in your drinking water. So a lot of people charge their water with crystals and charge it with the full moon and things like that, which is fine, but I always suggest make a barrier. So if you are um, wanting to charge some water with amethyst, Put maybe the water in maybe a mason jar and sit the amethyst around it and on top of it. The reason why is because some crystals contain iron, some crystals contain other um, chemicals that is not really great for you to digest. Also, some crystals are treated with different chemicals on the outside of them. Also, certain chemicals and um, chemical combustions happen in the mind. So you want to be safe um, rather than sorry and not put the crystals directly in your drinking water also um i know that they have these like crystal bottles water bottles and things that's fine but if the crystal is exposed and actually touching your water i would not suggest to drink it or get those crystal bottles because those chemicals from that treated crystal is now being in your water. Um, but they have some crystal water bottles where the crystals are at the bottom and there's like a glass covering it and your water is around it. That's fine. So to be on the safe side, I would not suggest putting your crystals directly inside your drink of water. The fourth thing I wouldn't suggest is leaving your crystals out in the sun for a long period of time. If you ever had an amethyst and it's not quite purple how it used to be, it's probably because you left it out maybe in your windowsill too long or out in the sun for too long. So if you leave your crystals out to charge from the full moon or new moon or even get it cleansed and charged with the sun, don't leave it out so long. It will fade the crystals. That does not mean that your crystals are fake or that they're not real. It just happens. Your citrine will become lighter, your amethyst will become lighter, your rose quartz will come, become lighter, smoky quartz may get lighter. It changes and fades the crystals, so keep that in mind. And then the last thing I would suggest that you don't do with your crystals is allow people to borrow them. Don't be letting people hold your crystals. Don't do it. Don't do it. Unless, I guess there's like exceptions to the rule. 
Like you may give it to your daughter or your son to hold, but I would suggest getting your daughter, your son, their own collection. Even your spouse, get them their own collection. I would not suggest um, giving people your crystals. Like, oh, my friend's going through some heartache. I'm going to let them hold my Rose Quartz and Unikite. Mm -mm. I treat my crystals like I treat my books. Nah, I probably treat my crystals a little, a little, I'm a little stricter. But I don't let people borrow my books. I don't, I don't do it. I would just buy them their own coffee. I won't let them borrow my books. Crystals, I'm not letting you borrow. My um, wife and I, we share our crystal collection, but um, there are certain crystals of mine that she can't touch. And even if I saw her use a crystal, I would cleanse it very well. Our energy is pretty much aligned. Um, so that's an exception to the rule. But I'm not letting my little sister, my cousin, my uncle, my auntie, my homeboys, nobody. I'm not letting them hold my crystals. Get them their own set because what you got to remember is, yes, crystals have a certain energy, a certain frequency, a certain vibration. But understand that they absorb energy. So whoever and whatever they're around, it absorbs that energy. Yes, you can cleanse it. I'm not saying you can't cleanse it. You can cleanse it. However, you always want to be mindful of the energy it absorbs, right? So if it absorbs their energy, why would you want to take it back and hold it and try to cleanse it? Yeah, you could cleanse it, but it's like, it's already dirty. Just keep it. Don't worry about it, right? Um, so those are the don'ts, the things that you should not do with your crystals. Now, three bonus, what you should always do with your crystals is one, you should always cleanse them. I do not care if they came from your best friend who got the best intentions in the whole world for you. I don't care if it came from your mama who your mama been practicing with crystals for years and she want to give you some. I don't care if it comes from your favorite spiritual shop. Hence, hence, soulful vibes. Cleanse it. Okay? Just cleanse it. Cleanse it with sage, palo santo, la lavender, sweet grass. Cleanse it with some rose. Cleanse it with some sort of herb, some incense, something. Cleanse it. Get rid of whatever energy was um, set for it and get rid of energy that have come in contact with it. Yes, soulful vibes, we good over here and we all have vibes, but guess what? We still human. Not only that, um, yes, I can charge them. Yes, I can put my own little special juju on the crystals, but in transit to you, they come in contact with post office workers all the time. And I have rarely ever saw happy post office workers. Um, I digress. However, you want to cleanse it. That's one. Two, you always want to set your intention with your crystals. Set your intention. Hold it. All right, look, I got some black tourmaline, blue kyanite, and amethyst. Say I need this amethyst um, to help me with calming my anxiety. So once I cleanse it, I'm going to cleanse it, and I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to say, you know what, amethyst, I know you're really good at doing these, this, 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 that, but specifically, I want to use you to help cleanse do y'all hear the sirens? Excuse it. But um, I want to use you to help um, help me ease and deal with my anxiety better, right? Something like that. Set your intentions for it. And the last thing that you should always do with your crystals is keep them with you or around you. For example, if you are going out about your day, you got your little purse, put some in your purse. I always have a little sack in my purse full of crystals. Um, Put some in your pocket, or if you don't carry purses, you don't have pockets. Okay, you're at work. Put the crystals around your work desk. Wherever you are, there should be some crystals, right? I have crystals in the bathroom, bedroom, over here in my living room. I have crystals in my purse. Keep them with you um, so that you can maximize the energy that comes from them. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions in regards to crystals, um, any concerns, whatever, drop your comments, questions below. Let me know what other video videos you guys want to see from me, and I'll be sure to record them. Until we meet again, guess what? I love you. Bye.